Major changes are coming to the Paycheck Protection Program, offering loans to small businesses facing financial hardships during the pandemic. Team Falls' Matt Uris spoke with two Arizona business owners as a second round of federal funding becomes available. It's been rough. Leanne Shearer owns two Anytime Fitness gyms, one in Prescott Valley, the other in Chino Valley. She recently applied for her second round of PPP, which is a government forgivable loan for small business. But even now, about a year after applying for her first one, the extended shutdown has left her business's future uncertain. We stopped taking money in, but our overhead was still there. And our overhead is about $50,000 a month. So it was really like hanging onto the edge of your chair every day thinking, what are we going to do and how are we going to do this? Julia Hahn shares similar sentiments. In addition to selling intimate apparel, her Tucson business called Alice Ray specializes in post-mastectomy products that are best fitted in person. My customers are over the age of 50 and because of the breast cancer portion of our business and they are just terribly afraid to come out of their homes until they get their vaccinations. Unfortunately, fitting customers remotely has proved to be tough, making it difficult for her business to adapt. Frustrating to say the least because you don't have any answers to when all this is going to end. At this rate, Julia says she cannot keep her doors open much longer. As for Leanne and her gyms, we plan to survive. Businesses eligible for PPP must have no more than 300 employees, lost 25% or more of gross receipts, and used or will use all of the first PPP loan. Beginning in the second week of March, all eligible businesses can apply. Matt Uris, 12 News.